for the city of Hartford to order at this time, and we'll open with a word of prayer. Father, we want to thank you for today and every day of life that you give to us, Father. Never let us take it for granted, all your blessings as well. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to gather together and to make decisions. We pray for your guidance tonight as we seek to do what's best for the city of Hartford and its citizens. So, Father, we pray that everything we say and do will be found pleasing in your sight. We pray these things in your name. Amen. 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 Uh, no visitors tonight, so we'll take a look at the minutes of our last meeting and see if there's any corrections that need to be made there. Once you had a chance, I'll entertain a motion to either accept or bring up any corrections, deletions, additions, anything that needs to be made. I'll make the motion. All right, motion is made. Is there a second? Second. All right, second. Any discussion? All in favor of motion? Thank you. All right, we'll take a look at the financial statements and give you a chance to take a look at anything there, ask questions about anything. We'll um, entertain a motion once you've had a chance to look those over. What is the OTF sinking fund? Do what now? OTF sinking fund. Uh, occupational occupational tax, but our OT is so. Uh, sinking fund is just money that we set aside. Um, you want to explain? It's just for emergencies, and like if there was an a uh, a ice storm. The limit was set at fifty thousand. That's why you see the amounts not changing except for interest. We flop back and forth between fifty thousand and a hundred thousand in that account, but it's saved for emergencies. I think my checking account's on that sinking fund thing. Is <laughs> <laughs> there for emergency? Yeah. We need money, it is an emergency. That street improvement, that money we got left to do patching and stuff with, 12900 Do what now? The street improvement fund, 12933 Is that what we got decided to set aside? Oh, it's the MRA up there. Uh, that's money that we get periodically comes from the uh, fuel tax, uh, the state divide, we get, state divides a certain small percentage of the fuel tax that they get every year. Uh, we get it quarterly and they just pass along to the cities based on your population, your share of it. And so that's how we do our, our street resurfacing. Is do that. Yeah, and, patching and stuff. Yeah, like yeah okay. That's what and that's how we do that. And the LGEA is the same thing. It comes out of your. What's the status on coal. that house bill? Do what? The fuel tax. What's the status on that? I know it went to pass through the legislators and then went through the Senate. The gas tax that's yeah. been brought up. Has it been any further? Have you heard any more on that? I haven't heard whether it passed or not. See, it I'm passed saying. through the legislator and then it went on to the Senate. I don't know if it, it went any further went than that. Passed the House and went on to the Senate. Yes. But I haven't heard whether it became a bill. I haven't seen the latest uh, legislative report yet to know whether it passed both houses and been passed on I to the governor. What do you say now? Do what? What do you say? What bill is that you're talking about? I can't think of the House. Is it? It's not 572, is it? Uh, let me check. I was just inquiring, but basically what he was talking about is street improvement funds. <coughs> That'll help it help help increase your street increase it your budget, um, and that's what they're trying to pass. It was Bill, up there. I can't remember what his number was. It was start five hundred eight. Five eighty. Five eighty. Five eighty. Thank okay. you. 
it was to raise the the gas the fuel tax ten cents on on the gallon. And all that money was going to go for roads, or uh, it was going to add to the fund yeah. and be divided up as it has been. But that would end up meaning we would get more money for for our roads and. It is divided up a lot of different ways. We still need a motion, don't we? I'll make it. Motion is a second. Okay. Is there any questions about any of the financials? Any more discussion? All in favor of accepting them? Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, Tara's had a meeting up in Louisville. She said this was her last one, so she tried to get it changed, but couldn't get it changed. So uh, we'll go into old business. Well, the first item I see there is the water policy. I've just given you a copy of our billing policy. This is pretty much everything as we oh, thank you. She ain't there. Thank you. as we currently do. There are a few changes. Um, We're talking about if a person has up to $20 left on their, $20 or less on their bill that they didn't pay for some reason. Like they uh, wrote a check out wrong. Um, we were just gonna roll over everything under $20 to the next bill uh, and, and not not to have them incur a penalty. We had, it got ridiculous. If you go by the, the ordinance, uh, one lady ended up two cents short and ended up paying, what, $16, something like that, penalty for two cents that she owed on the bill. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, if you go by the ordinance, black and white, strictly obeying it, uh, and I don't know why people write a check out for $2.50 less than their bill, but some people, you know, it's not usual. They just make a mistake when they're writing their check out. But anyway, we're talking about rolling over anything $20 or less to the next uh, bill and not charge any kind of a fee or penalty. I think that's a great idea. But this is the policy as it currently stands if you want to take a few moments to read through it and see that you understand it because it's going to be involved in the the bill that we're, or the ordinance that we're taking a second reading at tonight. Apologize to you for not getting it to you sooner. We've had a little confusion around the office, so. Do you have an extra copy of that? Do, do you have an extra copy of that? Yeah. I haven't got to see it. So this is the current ordinance. Do what? This is the current ordinance. No, this is the one. No, this is uh, this is oh, what's going to be incorporated into the ordinance. Should you oh, okay. All right. should you decide to adopt it? Well, it reads a lot better than the other one did. I mean, a lot of it's the same as the ordinance. A lot of it is just what we're currently have been doing for years. Like uh, down at the bottom, those uh, tap-on fees, they've not changed. Um, anyway, you just... Can, can this be tabled to the next meeting so we can kind of get familiar with this sure. a little better? Sure. I mean, any, any objections to tabling it, it for I'd the like next to, meeting? I'd like to look at it a little more myself, more in depth. <clears throat> we can put on old business for the next meeting if you but want if to. Give you a chance to, to look it me. over. And but I'm definitely for the um, $20 rollover. I am for that. Any, any problem with no, that one's good it reads like it should 
Well, for it, and very plain. I'll do it either way, Mayor. Have yeah. we sent out the city's website address before? Have we? It's actually on your water bill printed, and then when we get when we get the new water bills, uh, the forms, we're going to have it pre-printed in the green ink on there. And there's a lot of people that's already using the payment option online. That's good. good. That's good. Including our council members sitting over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did do that, didn't I? <laughs> I was wondering. Or well, your alias did. <laughs> I didn't even know what the amount I paid if it's We put messages on our water bill and nobody ever reads them, you know. So just, and they say, well, we didn't know, but it's printed on your water bill. Well, I never read that thing, you know. Yeah. All I look at is the figures. Huh? That's me. All I look at is the figures. That's all I look at. That's all I Then I have a custom fit. There's a message. Except when they get the message on the back about the test that didn't come back right. And then I look at those numbers. Okay. It'll, it'll be on so there. So, Mayor, how, um, it'll be. It is when will this year. be in effect? As soon as you all adopt it. So this is the second reading then? Well, this doesn't require reading. It's not an ordinance. If you look, what's been added here. Yeah. Uh, it says, may have their water meters removed or disabled from permitting flowage of water through the meters subject to the collection policies and procedures adopted by the city council. If no such policies are adopted, any bill not paid in full. So what this does is this gives us policies that we can point to that have been adopted by the city. So I'm good now. We first, need I need, I would, we would need a motion to adopt this policies motion okay i'll second all right <laughs> any questions about them i mean it's yeah okay. i'm good wait we didn't do a first reading of this well this has to be accepted before i thought we tabled this no uh -uh. we didn't vote no, to table. No. that's what they're doing right no, now okay. yeah okay. yeah we're good so you're voting on the water policy yeah they're going to adopt a, the water policy so we'll have it in place before we adopt this, if y'all choose to adopt this ordinance. Okay. All right. Any questions about the billing policy? It, it's a little more user friendly perhaps than what we've had in the past. And okay, so I gotta catch up then. Huh? I have to catch up, I'm sorry. So who was first or second? Oh, David, David was first and she was second. Stacia, not she. <laughs> Her, that moment over there. Oh, boy. I, I said a walk. Any more discussion about the policy? <clears throat> All in favor of adopting this as our policy? Okay, thank you. Now we come to the second reading of the ordinance. Does that help you with the questions about the policies and procedures then? And does that answer? You had some questions last well, time. In this ordinance, under yeah. number one, on the non payment, look down to the, the third sentence. Charges by the 25th day of the month following the due date may have their water meters removed. Is it a may because I like him and we're not going to do it to you today? <laughs> Or is it a shell because you haven't paid? You have to adopt the ordinance before you can. That's the whole reason of this ordinance is to have this policy. Okay. If, if I read that right there. Okay. So you can't adopt this unless you adopt okay. this. Okay. <clears throat> so, so now what was it again now? The they have their water turned off after the tw on the 25th. Yeah. Either you shall or you may. We had shell on here, it's marked through and made. Right, because we've tried to make it a little more consumer friendly 
uh, there's not many times that we wouldn't have it turned off. I can't think of an instance where it wouldn't be turned off. Well, then we should put shall in there. Well. It sounds like to me, if you were to do that to me, I'd say, well, what would I have to do to maybe get cut off rather than you just cut it off? That's the question I would ask you. If the 25th falls on the weekend, is right. what you're trying to change. That's explained in the other. So if, if the yeah. 25th was on a weekend, then okay. what he's saying, then they would have till my, through the whole day Monday. Like, for example, it was, it's coming up in April, the 25th is on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. So he, with this, on the 26th, you would have through the ho whole day on the 26th, is what, how this is worded. The way that it was is it was through the 25th because you could well, use the lot box. Well, then we need to explain rather than shall and may. If it's on the 25th, but it falls on a Sunday, it'll happen on Monday. I, I have a real hang-up on those words from Miss Janine okay. Black. Paragraph on your policy here. <coughs> um, <coughs> One, two, three, four, fifth paragraph. Uh -huh. Fourth paragraph talks about payment yep. being accepted on the 25th. Normally we don't accept it on the 25th. But if it's in the box and they come in on the 20th, morning of the 25th, we go ahead and accept it. But the next paragraph says if the 25th falls on a Friday, uh, water will not be disconnected till Monday if it falls on the weekend. So. That's why it may, may be the 25th, if you say that it's got to be the 25th, then if the 25th falls on a date when people can't pay um, Christmas, they can't pay on the 25th because we're not open. See, so then. I understand that fully. That's common sense, George. Right. But if somebody comes in behind me and you decide to do it different because you may. That's what I'm getting at is, you know, so, take the word shall and may. Yeah. May is very subjective. Shall isn't. So that's, but sh shall doesn't give you any leeway. In other words, right. you're, you're going to get cut off on the 25th. That's right. Okay. But what and, I, Tell them to look at the ordinance. If the 25th falls on a Sunday, we'll hit you on Monday. But either you need to have these worded exactly the same or not worded at all. That's my point. Now, I haven't gone to law school, but I'm right. getting close. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess my question would be to go forward with this ordinance, how would you want it worded and they could fix that, couldn't they? Just how would you want that worded? You're asking for shall on both. Yeah. Right. I'm asking for shall on both. And yet you're given the leeway that if 25th falls on a Sunday, it'll right. go on Monday. Right. That's why you have to put May, because if you say shall, there is no going on to Monday. Shall, because nobody's going to be working for disconnected in this it's not a matter of them paying on that day. They got paid before the 25th. Well, and what we're saying. Then the 25th or after, shall. Right? Well, if the 25th. We're, argue, we're arguing apples and oranges, and I understand what you're saying. But from a legal standpoint, I don't think you can swap these from an ordinance to the billing policy. I think they need to be the same. Okay, so if under the non-payment of water bills, if there was added to that section that gave the if it falls the on weekend the being the 25th, then you, and you shall on both, is what you're, what you're saying over here. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. See, in the so ordinance, it doesn't say anything about the example that's in here. Yeah, it does because it says the policies and procedures adopted by the city of Hartford. That's what we're doing is we're adopting a policy 
But your example here on the 25th on Friday is why you're having to use the word may. Right. If in that paragraph it gave that example of the 25th on the weekend and saying shall, then she would agree. Did I get that right? That's an attorney question. Yeah, we'll just let, we'll just postpone this care. until next, next meeting and, and uh, have Tara examine both and see so, so that we're satisfied. Let's make on that fifth paragraph down there again. Or a B, I'm sorry, not that. It's under number two, B. For the first, uh, well, go to A. Okay. First offense. For the, for the first time, the water customer, you know, if he fails to pay or what, shall pay a fee of $25 to remove and or disable the water meter and a fee of $25 to replace or enable the water meter. Not within a three-year period. Look back. A look back period. Well, from this date, if you haven't done it in the in previous three years, it's a $50 fine. If you have in the previous three years, then it's a $100 fine. Okay, so you're going to go back even before we get this ordinance and count that. I'm going back what now? All right, this is an ordinance. Right. Okay. You're going to... This is the one that's in effect right now. This one is? Yeah, it's already in effect right now. So you're going to go back three years on everybody, and if they've been late or whatever, you're going to pick up under the disorder. If, if a person hasn't paid their bill, if they're late after the 25th, they're there's, going to be a, there's a fine. In and it, we're going to look back three years. Yeah. With computer, you can do it. What? Uh, I mean, well, nothing's fun. Right no, it's not hard. But if a person comes in on the 25th or after and hasn't paid, their water's cut off, they pay a $50 fine if it's the first time for them to do it. If they're a repeat customer, then it becomes a $100 fine. But after three years, we forgive those people who've done it for the first time. If you do it the first time, don't do it again for three years. Then the next time it happens with you, it's another $50 fine. It's not $100. They okay. give you, you on probate. They give you three. three years, right? Right. <laughs> okay, now under B, I, you're not going to change that, and I'm not going to change that one either. But multiple offenses. For any subsequent offense within a three year look back period from the date. The water bill. <coughs> Why not just say if an offense occurs within three years of the first offense, we're going to do this? I'm, I'm not the lawyer. I didn't write these things. I didn't. I don't know who wrote this one. This is so old. This one is. It's probably whoever wrote well, it's probably in the grave. Well, these things bother me. They well, don't bother anybody else. Don't change them. But the, the, just that word, look back. Yes. Oh. I didn't like that either. I, I, I mean, who ever heard it didn't, of a look back? It didn't read. Smooth. I'm going to look at your records for three years. <laughs> I'm not going to look back. <laughs> the past three years, not the next three years. All right. We'll table this until the next next meeting and look re examine it again so there. That other, that other one, <laughs> this one won't be no good now then, correct? I, well, I need David to rescind his motion on the water policy. Jason, fix and leave your yeah. put yours off right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to take back your motion okay. for this. I, I take back my motion. All right. I take back my second if I need to. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, vehicle quotes. Um, we've got in. Reference to the trucks and other equipment that y'all have decided we needed. 
We've gotten quotes from several dealers. Um, at the top, you have the quotes for the water truck and the maintenance department truck. Uh, Commonwealth Dodge is out of Louisville. Are they a uh, state bidder? No. Okay. That's why it's, that's why there's $10,000 difference between them and more Ford on that truck. And uh, more Ford's a year, it will be a year newer truck. Pogue Chrysler, of course, is out of Muleburg County. More Chrysler Dodge Jeeps is out here. And then Champion Ford over in Owensboro. I got with them, but they never did get back with me to offer up any bids about any of the either truck <clears throat> and then down below that you see a uh, service body for the water department truck it bids from different companies there browns valley of course is over in uh, davis county uh, Naphide is from that jefferson county and emco is out of massonville why did they separate out the snow plow and the spread well, the snow plow and spreader is for the maintenance department truck. That's one reason we're getting that truck is to have a snow plow truck and a, a salt spreader. So will you need three different bids? Or I mean, motions on that or just one motion? Do what now? Say it again. <laughs> well, you just need a, a motion to, like if I uh, make uh, a motion about the bids yes accept the bids yes. from those companies whichever okay. company well we're accepting the quotes huh? we're accepting the quotes and then you want to know who was paying for each one but you could do it all in one motion yeah okay i'll make the motion that we accept the bids on both pickup trucks with more ford And in that emotion, go with Emco on the utility bed and snow plow and spreader. Okay. Now, both the utility bed and Emco, it ain't. That's the bed that uh, won't work. Do what now? I said that's the bed that won't work at Emco. That's the chassis you call about they wanted forty-five thousand dollars. So this uh there should be the the bed the the one in Louisville is the best price for the bed. That's ladder rack and all that's what they're wanting. And that's eight thousand three hundred three seventy six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. one, I, I apologize on that. The MCO bed is the one that we tried to find a chassis for and we couldn't find less they wanted forty five thousand dollars for the chassis. Okay. Then I won't go with the. Uh, so you. I didn't mean to look okay. That's what that is. Then I don't need that one. Uh, what is that name there? The two uh, cheapest beds. Napier. Napier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the two cheapest beds was the one in Hopkinsville at Pope Cross and the one in Louisville. And I talked to the one in Louisville and he said that bid should stand pretty close with it being a 2021 for that quote. For the 837. Yeah. So, you're recommending the bed from Naphide yes. up in Louisville? Yeah. But okay. go with the snow plow and spreader from I mean, that's fine. Higher. If you want to wait on a snow plow and spreader, we can look around and see if we can find... I mean, that ain't something that's got to be got right now. <clears throat> if you want to... I mean, I'm not telling you how to do it this. You just want to come out and visit it later. But, I mean... I assume we get it. I assume we get it done. That's fine. That's one reason we get the truck. Yes. Yeah. I assume we go on and, and make that motion. All, all three of those will no. go on with the trucks. Okay, what are, what's the motion now? So, no. No. I'll, I'll show you. you. They're wanting to accept the nap hide. And yeah, then both trucks. Nap hide from Louisville. And then out of Louisville. And, and then these one. two from Let's Madisonville. Yeah, these two. Okay. Well, okay. More Ford's got one sitting on the lot right now. For and us. they'll have to order that delete package. The he said delete bed truck. Usually eight weeks, but with COVID, it could be a little bit longer. But you got to do a bed delete. That's what me and Bo ran into on this bed from Emco. Is 
We done that. But if you look, when I went down to St. Gary, because I asked him, I said, can you buy the one? Can you do a dealer swap in the one in Louisville? And he told me when I told him the price, he said, I can blow that out of the water. You can see he did, almost $10,000. Mm -hmm. So basically, we can get the truck in the bed for a little bit under what they wanted for the truck in Louisville. And that guy, when I called him the other day, he's like, we've had it for a while, we'll make you a good deal on it. I said, that ain't a good deal, in my, you know, for a municipality because we get so much off. Will you restate your motion and also tell what fund you want to pay okay. for that? If yes. If you're wanting that occupational yes. tax? Or yes, okay. So I just need to make the motion again on the pickup trucks coming from Moore Ford mm -hmm. and the salt Salt snow plow and the spreader come from Emco. Mm -hmm. And what did you say that was again? Nephi. 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 For eighty eight thousand three hundred seventy six. And I would like that to come out of occupational tax fund. Okay. Is there okay. Second to that. I'll second. Jerry seconded. In this year. Uh -huh. We're close. Close. Are you, uh, are you saying do that in this year, this fiscal year, mm -hmm. right away? Yes. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, but we should be able to get that other truck in before 1st of July. Yeah, we can sorry. go ahead and pay for do it. Do you have a second? We can go ahead and pay for it and deliver it Jerry, later. Jerry seconded. Jerry seconded. Okay. All right, discussion about anything? And I think this will do them good for a while. I don't think they'll need another one for a little bit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hopefully, but... And just for the record, I wasn't behind this. He come to me. So I, I am. You got a booster seat for Ted? <laughs> he said you're sitting. Oh, he called. Mm -hmm. I want y'all on flight tonight. Yeah, I'm just going to call me later. I And also, um, just so we clarify, well, let's vote first. Let's vote first. We'll be all right. Any discussion more to, uh, regarding these? All in favor of purchasing the trucks and the equipment. Okay. Oh, I just want to make sure. <laughs> I was writing notes. I'm sorry. <laughs> you done your sun timer keeping it warm. Okay. She's paying her water bill. What's it going to be for? Yeah. Who seconded that motion? Jerry did. I should have known. <laughs> okay, uh, and then the last thing on old business is the uh, officer's ethics. That's you all. Get your papers in, those ethics papers, oh, into the clerk man. about, uh, about your reporting. Yeah. If you need more copies, she can get you another copy of it. Uh, you turned mine in last time I gave it to you? Do why? I turned mine in to you last week. Well, okay. she's got okay. it. Okay. Huh? No. Got um, I got Bo, Jerry, and Maryville. You got mine. And mine. I did turn mine. Okay. Did did I don't turn. confuse her no more. Oh, sure. I mean, you don't have it? You say you got mine? Well, you know, it, it oh. Did you give it to somebody? I don't, don't know. <laughs> I didn't even know I paid no bill. Did I turn one in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do I need to give one in? Did I turn one in? <laughs> <laughs> did I even give one? <laughs> they gave you Woo. one. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's get this taken care of. Uh, state requirement in it that we sign saying what all can possibly influence us. Okay, uh, that'd be all of our old business. Now we open the floor for new business. Um, First thing I have to consider is our mowing for the cemetery. We took bids on mowing the cemetery again. I had four bids. Uh, had Gary's cut and trim lawn care for 37,500. I had straight line lawn care for 38,000. I had uh, Beaver Dam emergency service for 39335 and then I had lawn and order lawn care uh, for 37200 That's Jonathan over, over Jordan Overstreet, and he's been doing it for the last two years, and he had the low bid again this time. 
So I'm recommending that we enter into a contract with uh, Jordan about mowing with lawn and order lawn care about mowing the cemetery from the 1st of April to the end of October. So I'll entertain a motion to that effect. I'll make a motion. All right. I'll second. All right. Any discussion? 37 what now? 37 two. Okay, thank you. That's actually down from last year, what he charged us last year, what he bid last year. We're closer to 40, weren't we? It's close to 40 last year. Yeah. It's still cheaper than what we have figured out it cost us to do it. So yeah. any more discussion in favor? All right, I'll notify Jordan. Um, I'd like to go into a closed session to dis discuss land sale or acquisition. So if I could get a motion to go into Make closed session. We go into closed session. All right. I'll second. Second. All in favor? Okay. Thank you. Starting any uh, land issue that was discussed in the closed session. I make a motion that you make an offer, give yourself some leeway, go ahead and purchase the property. Do we need to put in the motion not to exceed a certain amount? Yeah, not to exceed the appraised value. Oh, well, yeah. I, I think that you get it, yeah. Huh? Not to exceed it, yes. Okay. Not to exceed a certain amount. Not to exceed a certain amount. The praised value. The praised value. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. Motion seconded down here. Discussion? Okay. All in favor? Okay. Thank you. All opposed? Did you vote at all? One abstention. No. You're not voting or you're. Uh, it's a no for me. Okay. So oh, uh, on polls, I'm sorry. You're not voting at all? No, I'm not voting on that one. One, four, four, one no, one, and, and one, one abstention. Got it. Okay. All right. Anybody mm -hmm. have anything else that you want to bring up tonight? What? Abstain. Abstain, yes. Is it Jerry. Oh. Jerry voted no. Anybody else? Anything? I don't have any information to give you. Hope to have the water clerk hired sometime next week. Um, I have a question to bring up. Um, citizen, citizen can ask me about their water bill. Okay. As some do. They said when the city came out and looked at their water, the city employee suggested that there has been water being stolen from residents. Has there been any conversation of that or any legitimacy to that? Uh, it comes up on rare occasions when a person has an exceedingly high or higher than normal bill and there's no evidence of a leak. Then sometimes the thought comes that maybe somebody is going to an outside spigot and taking water late at night or something like that when they're not aware. It doesn't happen very often, but it has happened since I've been in the office, you know, that that's happened. Um, I really, what I think is really happening is they're using more water than they think they are. You know, they did more washing of clothes, they took more showers, they flushed the commode more often, I don't know what it is. Sometimes they pressure wash the house and don't, and they don't realize how much water is being forced through the through the pressure washer, you know, I mean, so my suggestion is if that's been an option offered to them, that they find a way of getting a locking outside faucet and put. I suggested that. That'd be the only thing. That okay. Or they, where they can turn it off from the inside somewhere. Yeah. Wait, the and other options that we were advised in the past is have a welfare check on the neighbor that is next to the location. Okay. In the past, that has shown where the water was in oh. blackout buckets. <coughs> okay. Now, how somebody is stealing a large amount of water, I noticed, I don't know, but right. 
you know, it has to be. Well, they mentioned being out of town a little bit, and that's one of the excuses. Honestly, that we offer that excuse, but I'm, I'm thinking yeah. probably people are using more water than they really realize. Well, I've been use. approached by three different people recently about their water bills, oh, and um, I refer them to City Hall. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I validate them. Yeah, my water's high, too. Go through all the reasons. Maybe theirs is a little higher. And then just really refer them to you for any answer. You'd you be know. surprised how much a leaking commode oh, absolutely. will run yeah. the bill up. Yeah. And, you know. um, I, yeah, I try to go through all the checklist. Um, in my best ability, I try to explain the rainfall issue that was once explained to me about the the more rainfall, the higher the water bill. You explained that to me years no, ago. No, that's sewer bill. Or sewer, my bad. Well, it's on the same, same thing. When I say water, I mean the holistic. Yeah, you're like whole. everybody else, yeah. including water, sewer, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sanitation. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So uh, that sometimes, you know, causes more contention than it does appeases them, but it's, you know, it, we're on the same boat, so. Well, their sewer bill is based on their water usage. In other words, the water, the sewer bill will be higher for the city of Hartford, but it won't be higher for individual tenants or individual citizens okay. because their water bill is, is, a, is so much per however much they use. And so um, the rainfall, unless they've got, I don't know how rainfall would affect their water usage, you know. It won't affect their sewer usage. Okay. They shower outside in the rain. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got to hire them. I have to, so you might want to stay clear of that area. That'd be all right, because then that's not going in the sewer. It's going in the ground, you know. <laughs> I got a call not too long ago, and this was from a business, the dollar store. They get... They've been having to get the late fees, and we obviously know that they can pay their bill, and I don't know what the glitch is, but... Well, they don't pay it locally. Right, I know. It comes it's, out of another... Yes, it comes well, out... Well, we have the same problem with uh, Rest Home, or same problem with anybody whose headquarters are somewhere else. We send them the bill... Right, I understand that. And we send it on the 25th, and they've got until the 10th to pay. But do you think there's a... Di uh, a delay in getting it to them, or I mean, I think it just got too too many irons in the fire up there at their headquarters, and they don't have anybody that's paying bills on time. You know, is what the problem is. But, but we have, I understand what you're saying. That we but, have a remedy all that now, and that's what we're planning on doing is letting them know if they'll just sign up online. Okay. They can they'll get a notice that tells them that the new bill's out there, and they can see it the same day. They don't even have to wait for the mail. Okay. Okay. But they're slow. Yeah, that was just a question about that paying their bills. Brought to me, so. uh, the rest home, same way. The headquarters up in Louisville, and that's where we send the bill. But sometimes they don't pay till. Oh yeah, I get it. Till it's after the tenth, and they get a ten percent penalty put on there. And it doesn't sound like much unless you got a six thousand right. dollar water bill, and then you got a. Six hundred dollar penalty, you know. Right. I could recommend doing your own automatic pay. Thank you. Because the water bill is well, basically the same every month. There's yeah, they could do ACH, you know, and right. <laughs> they could pay with a credit card. They could pay a lot of ways yeah. and get yeah. it done. But uh, I have no control over what right. the tre their treasurer does in those offices. I got approached yesterday at the park. Um, he said that uh, his bill had been off and when they went to get it turned on it cost him six hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Do what now? <laughs> it cost him six hundred and fifty dollars to have his water turned back on mm. yesterday or uh, whatever one is oh. the guy approached me. Because he had a that's what his bill was probably Right, that's what I asked him. He wasn't really coming out with it, but he was, I told him, I said, we're working on the water bill, but had, how long has your water been off? And he said, a couple of months and everything, so he said that. And it's been off a couple of months because he had that such a high bill, he couldn't pay. We've got people that owe us thousands of dollars. Well, this guy, he, 
he lives up the corner there, so I mean, <laughs> on Smith Street, so he was asking me about it. Yeah. I told him to come to see y'all. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. I mean, we go check his check the computer and see how much he owes, right? You know. He thought maybe we might have charged him for where he did have the leak last year, and they wouldn't fix the pipe, but it was on the sit on us, the city and stuff. So yeah. I told him no. It don't work right there. So, and then I'm, I'm gonna make the motion after this because I'm ready to get home before the storm. <laughs> okay. But how much? How long did y'all go without the penalties d due to COVID? Did y'all do that at all? Oh yeah. How how many months did y'all do that? Oh, I can tell you dollars, but I can't tell you. Probably I, about eight or nine months, well, yeah, ten months, something like that. February. We started in March and didn't go. Didn't start putting them back on till what December, November, December, somewhere. But around. during that time, do y'all? Because I'm asking, because I don't know. During that time, are y'all going back to those dates that you couldn't go on for the payments? The only thing that we can do now is whatever they owe us in water. Okay. And okay, we've had people who done contracts with us you know they said we'll we'll do it and we'll set up a three month or did we ever do a six month payment yeah we did the six month for COVID and they'll end in May yeah for people that had COVID normally we give a three month contract you know if you're behind and you want your water turned on you sign a three month contract and you agree to pay what you owe in thirds along with your regular water bill okay and we'll turn it back on. Makes sense. But if you miss one payment, it's cut off again because you voided the contract. Yeah. But then we had six month contracts for people that, during COVID. So we've been over backwards. We There's oh, a place that they can go to get help. You know, we've offered uh, the, the websites from the state where they can go and apply for help. Uh, that two one one, that's a pretty good resource too. The what? Two one one, that's a oh. that's a good resource to get anybody to get in contact for the business. Well, there's some money that has come down recently that the county applied for up to two hundred thousand dollars, and it's being handled through Audubon Area uh, Community Services, and a person can go in and fill out a, their application by if they're COVID affected, if. In other words, if they lost their job because of, or were laid off or whatever because of COVID, they can go in and they can get up to $250 a month to pay for utilities, pay their utility bills. Um, but unfortunately, most of the people who are in arrears uh, won't go in and apply because it's too much paperwork, you know. So yeah. the money is available, but people are just too lazy to go get it. Anything else from anybody? Have we applied for any um, Audubon area uh, or the AARP community grants that email us sent out? Are we going to be applying for any of those community grants through AARP? What would we apply for? I mean, well, it was, it's probably you got to have a project. You got to have a project to submit to them, you know. I assume through the Economic Development Committee, the Ellis Park project. If there's a or project, you know okay. that they want to do, then they can apply. That's apply. due in twenty. It's a pretty short deadline on that. It's it, it's due in twenty days. Huh? It's due in twenty days. In twenty days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the DLG and the, the DLG grants, they'll go through till May. They got to be uh, applied by May. So there's still a little wiggle time on them grants in May. But what you are, got you got to have some project. You just yeah, can't go and say we. Well, and I understand you know, that. And that's what I said the last yeah. time. But we need fifteen thousand dollars. But they say what for? We said well, we'll find a use for it. But I think it's, yeah. I think if the money's there, I think we should apply. And your your match could be your in kind labor. I mean, so you could you could like not be out a whole lot of money on these grants. Just by the matching the but in kind like you said, you've got to have a plan to submit. And I understand that. 
but what I'm getting at is mm -hmm. let's get a plan. These grants are out here. We should be applying. Your fingers and say that. I mean, that's why I'm wanting them done because I, I think it's important. That's that's the growth. Um, I agree with you. So uh, that's all I was getting at. I mean, y'all do what you want. Anything else? No. Make a motion to adjourn. Second motion. All in favor of lifting hand. Motion carried. Thank you all. Appreciate your time and your efforts.